I'm Arwen. I'm the professional joy seeker. I love doing flip throughs and unboxings and reviews. When I do a flip through or, or an unboxing, it's really not a review. It's kind of <clears throat> my first impression. I'm going to be using this in my telescopes this week, which I'm late on. But this is called Rumi's Gift Oracle Cards. It is by Ari Honavar. Honavar. I'm not sure how to say your name, Ari. I do apologize. Um, and on the back, it says, the alchemy, for hundreds of years, the alchemy of Rumi's words have transformed worldviews and changed lives. 33 image cards of Rumi's poems, 33 poem cards featuring translations of those poems, and an accompanying commentary book. Rumi's words, the image cards feature Rumi's words in his mother tongue of Farsi, shaped into calligra calligraphic, calligraphic depictions called calligrams. Let's take a look. It's got a great little magnet. I mean, I am, you can see I'm not even... Ah, there. <laughs> so here is a picture of the artist and author, Ari. And it says of her, was born into a long line of Persian poets and Rumi lovers and raised in Shiraz, the city of majestic gardens, love poems, and wine. She's a translator, writer, and an artist who blends calligraphy and painting to present Persian poetry in new and evocative ways. In her musical poetry performances, she brings forth the spirit of Rumi's poems in the form of Deklama, the Persian art of becoming the poem. She is the founder of Rumi with a View, RumiWithAView.com, dedicated to building bridges through the enchanting medium of Persian poetry. Ah, and then the artist is Carmen Costello, self-taught, Working with, in a state of intuitive action, she creates a riotous display of brilliant colors, choppy, swirling brush, hand strokes, and abbreviated figures and symbols that invoke ancient modes of dance and ritual. Now, I love Rumi. I love Persian anything. I, I mean, I do. I'm a Persian file. Here's a book. This is my first time to see it, too. We get full color. Yay. Okay. So, which one should I open up to? Ripening, Quest, and I don't know. Was Transformation the first one? Does anybody remember? I didn't look at it. So, but Transformation, Quest, and Ripening would be a nice go through, right? Let's see. We've got. Um, they're poems, and then you, they talk about poem and poem and action. Wow! Let's just open up to one and just read it. Quest again. The old man with his lamp searched and searched. I am tired of these weak fellow travelers. I am searching for the Lion of God and Rostam the Brave. And there's an asterisk after Rostam the Brave, and you get if you read that. Rossum is the epic hero of Shanama, the Book of Kings. He is the son of Zal and Rudabe and possesses a Hercules-like courage and strength. And then there's more of the poem. And then we talk about when Rumi's beloved Shams entered Rumi's life, he brought with him a whirlwind of scandal, judgment, and instability. Rumi was no longer the loving husband and father, nor the Malana, master. He became a blasphemous poet and was on dangerous grounds of heresy. But Shams did go, did go missing and they don't know what happened. Um, now here's the poem in action. Sit in a comfortable spot and close your eyes. Relax your breathing. When feeling relaxed, ask yourself, what is the most desi undesirable state for me? And it talks about feeling your resistance and holding your resistance. Really, really cool, y'all. Now, let's take a look at the cards. And the box, the book is different shape than the cards, so you've got the little spacers in there. And we're just going to flip through them. 
silence, trust, haha, <laughs> uh oh, they're stuck together, so sorry, hang on guys. I have two stuck together. <laughs> Transformation didn't want to come apart. Oh, and look at the backs. Courage. Perspective. Hang on, let me do uh, a little... Sometimes when they're brand new, you just got to give them a little, not even a shuffle, kind of a flick. Because they, um, and they're really slick. I like the card stock. Work. Here's the card stock for you. Freedom. The Fool. The path. And I like that we have color and black and white. Dance. Teacher is really cool. Disillusionment. I like that there are positive and negatives in here. Laughter. Quest. Ecstasy, letting go, butterfly, fire, the unknown, ripening, rediscovery, that's a nice, nice word, wisdom, Music. Um, I don't like that they're not alphabetized. I don't know how they are in the book. We'll take a look at the book again. But for easy access, alphab alphabetizing, if you don't have numbers, is good. Service. Support. Purpose. Celebration. Wow. Is that one or two cards? One. Confidence. Can you see what that is in confidence? It is pretty, isn't it, Amethyst? Enchantment. The source. I'm already seeing these as a really nice card to pull for divination, or not divination, but for meditation. You know, like treasure. What is treasure to you? What constitutes your treasures? Union. Death. And here are the um, cards that go with them. Silence. Last night I became mad. Love saw me and said, I am here. Don't shout. Don't wail. Just be silent. I said, oh, love, what I fear is something else. Love said, there's nothing else. Just be silent. And it's also in the original at the bottom. So, rather than, it's all of these. So, it's 33 and 33. So, we're just going to pull a poem at random. No, let's pull a card at random. And see what poem goes with it. Pick a card. Okay, we got that card. Anybody want to guess what card I just pulled? Go ahead, guess. Quest. Again with Quest. So Quest must be very important somewhere. Uh, let me find out where Quest is. Let's see. Oh, 
So how are y'all today? What's going on? What are you up to? What's keeping you happy? What's keeping you busy? I'm working on my classes for summer school, getting those together, getting those ready. And here is the poem for Quest. They said, we have already searched. It cannot be found. The old man bellowed, that which cannot be found, that is what I'm looking for. Show me your face. I am searching for the garden of paradise. Whisper in my ear, your sweet words are the remedy for all the world's bitterness. Okay. So this was a quick flip through of this wonderful little deck. Um, I really, you could do either, right? You could, you could also maybe pull a card and then pull a poem, like maybe quest and get the silence poem, you know, something, see how they mix up. But it, it's a really interesting deck. Um, I'm kind of curious as how I'll be able to use it for my divination. For um, the telescopes, but we'll see. We'll see if I don't mix the poems up and mix the cards up and or just use the cards. It's a puzzle. So thank you so much for joining me for this quick flip through of Rumi's Gift Oracle Cards. Oop. I've got a link to go check it out. It is from Schiffer, um, and it's from their Red Feather. That's their Body, Mind, Spirit imprint, or Mind, Body, Spirit. So take a look, see what you think, and seek joy, y'all. I'll be doing a live Periscope video next. That'll be the um, card for the week, and then I'll be doing the patron-only Periscopes right after that. Again, I'm Arwen. I'm the professional joy seeker. I have five openings for hour-long readings this week. So if you want one, please jump on it. Seek joy, y'all. Pass it on.